And welcome back to Jeff Kenanga live here at Citizen Television. Now, have got four fantastic guests. You would never have heard of these people if they hadn't run for office. Simply put, they have gone against all odds, make that insurmountable odds, and they've made it. From the far end, I tell you, what a guy. George Wanganga Nene campaigned mostly on the back of a donkey. Can you imagine? In Nakuru's Elementite Award, right next to him, Timothy Motwiri Joshua from Django, casual laborer. He decided to run, and he's now MCA elect. Right next to him, they call her Toto. Lynette Chep Korir, woman rep elect in Bomet. And right next to me here is Alfred Mutai, former charcoal seller. He's now MP elect Kurosoi North. Talk about zero to heroes and heroines. That's what we have. We'll start with ladies first. Toto, yes. Mambo. Yes, <laughs> How did you get there? I mean, uh, what were you doing? Tell us your story. Tell me a story, Yako. Sawa. How are you, Jeff? Huh? Mambo, Jeff. Ah, poor Sana. Okay. <laughs> My name is Lynette Chepkorir. Toto. Ongena Sauti, Ongena Sauti. Uh. Okay, Sawa. My name is Lynette Chepkorir, Babylon known as Toto, Human Rub Elect, Pomet County. Okay, for me, I graduated last year. That was on April having pursued procurement from Tharaka University College. Uh, having graduated, I was employed in Pome Town. Nilikuwa na uza nguo. Nilikuwa ni miajiriwa na mtu mwingine fulani for a month. After that... Kama mitumba hivi ya maa? Eh, mitumba. Mm. Eh, mitumba tu. From there, nikaenda tena kuchonga chips, chipo. Nilikuwa na uza chipo pia ya kuajiriwa being given 200 shillings a day. From there, I was a maid for a month also. Then I thought of fighting for women. Oh, I mean, what made you decide, Toto? I mean, from making chips to being a maid, how? Being in an hotel. Yes. Sister, how were you? How? OK, so all along, I've been a leader. That is right from childhood, when I was in school, in primary school, in college at high school level, also in our community and in our church. So I was born a leader. Mm. And I knew immediately after my graduation I'm going to fight for yeah. this particular position. Yeah. Thank you. Timothy, uh, tell me, who are you Yeah. You look a casual laborer? Yeah, casual laborer. Wapi? Uh, just in the village. In our village. Uh, so how long? For maybe uh, after, the, after I... I completed my four-year course. I just entered into Mjengo. I can see how I am Mjengo. I can see how I Such works. Now, you can decide how I am Mjengo. How? I was inspired by my able uh, honorable, that is uh, my able member of uh, parliament, that is Honorable John Paul Murigi, mm. from 2016. Uh, when na John likuwa tu na patana na yaki fanya siasa yake na andima ya yoni, so nilisikia tu kuna uomskumo kutoka 2016, yeah. Na kasema nikasima ma 22 na yeah, just to empower my fellow youth na kuonyesha kuna yani kuna pia sisi tu nafaa kuwa represent. We need to be represented, yeah. Oh, great story, great story. George Wanganga Nene. Yeah. So you campaigned, I think. That I saw somewhere. First, it was a bicycle, yeah, and then on, on the back of a donkey. Yeah, go on. Tell us that story. Uh, I was a fourth-year student at Tigaton University, uh, taking bachelor of uh, education arts, and uh, I think I would have been, I would have uh, graduated, but because of uh, challenges, paying school fees, um, corona, and some strikes here and there. Um, I have not graduated. So I come from school. I meet my parents at home. That is uh, at April. I come with a poster, one printed poster with my picture pale. And then I tell my parents, you know what? I want to vie for an elective seat here at Elementary Award. 
Uh, my parents are scared because they think politics is all about money. Utaku ki pea jeshi nini. See? Yeah. Uh, then after convincing them. Uh, uh, wakakubali. Wakakubali. Uh -huh. But after convincing them, yeah. they said, well, go ahead. And that is when I started uh, going to every household. I started in, uh, with our village called Ngesha village. That is how I started the journey. Then after visiting all households in Gesha, that is when I started now visiting other villages in the world. Yeah. yeah. How old are you? I'm 22 years old. Timothy? 21, yes. 21? Yeah. Toto? 24. Hey. I'm the one who This is 35 years. 35? Yes. So, so we're about the youth. Um, <laughs> we're about the youth. Yes. I will answer you. OK, thank you, Chef. First of all, let me just uh, appreciate you for actually recognizing me to come here and actually share my inspirational story. Me, I'm Alfred Mutai. Um, this is just a simple man who comes from uh, a place called, a village called Kacharege, <coughs> uh, City Court, Kuresoi North constituency, Nakuru County. Um, this Mutai formerly was a Chakobana. Okay, Mutai actually comes near the, the renowned Mao Forest. Mm. And uh, there are some other circumstances that actually makes someone to actually resort maybe to something that Mutai also did. And uh, I also know that may, maybe Mutai might not be the only person who has actually done so. We have the likes of Njenga Karume, mm -hmm. who was, he was also a Chaco dealer. Yes. But uh, he ended up actually eventually being a, a member of parliament for Kiamba constituency, right? So in that condition, therefore, is that uh, I saw it, this was just the only option uh, for that one honorable Mutai, uh, Mutai by then, to actually uh, make one or two things in life by actually doing the business. So uh, for my case, uh, I started actually doing the charcoal burning. Mm -hmm. That was around 2012. How long did you do that for? Uh, I, I started around 2012 until uh, that is when I, I actually, in fact, it actually helped me until I actually had to school myself with it. That is when I joined a university, that is a Jomo, Jomo Kenyatta University in Nakuru campus, mm -hmm. and I pursued Bachelor of Science in uh, Information Technology. That is now from 2014. And the charcoal selling, that, that's what paid that, for it? That is what I was actually doing, uh, yes. That tell me something, why did you decide to run this time for MP? Uh, for my case, I just attempted to fight for, for uh, MCA in 2017, right. and I won. Mm -hmm. Having actually uh, served at the position of MCA, I saw it, it was not enough for me to do what my, uh, my mind uh, told me to do. So the only option was to actually go for the position of MP. And that is what actually made me to go for the position of MP. Wow. And that is why right now I'm here being the uh, MP elect for Kresoy North constituency. Kresoy North, eh? Yeah. Fantastic. Toto. Yes. <coughs> where did you grow up? Your background, Yako, to, to put your background. Where did you grow up? Okay, I come from Bomet County. That is Bomet East Sub County. A small village called Chemamul. Chemamoy. Yes, Chemamul village in Merige Ward. And that is where I was brought up. My parents are just living there. I went to that school around, that is called Kapsimbiri Primary School. I went to Siwot Secondary School and Thraki University College. Mm. I've been there all along. What do your parents think now of what you have done? What do they think? They are feeling so happy. I'm, I'm sure when I watch Sai, yeah? Yes, they are watching. <laughs> <laughs> what do you tell them? <laughs> uh, they are very happy because now they have their daughter having been elected the youngest of all in Bomet County. I also want to thank them because of bringing me up and bringing up the politician like me. I really thank them. And I want to thank them for endorsing me. Thank you. Mm. Yes. Timothy, yeah. how about you growing up? Where did you grow up? Uh, I've just been uh, a normal, <coughs> that is a normal man, an humble man coming from a very humble background. <coughs> In Gambia South? We, uh, yeah, yeah, that is in Kiegoya and Tobochi, Gambia South, Meru County, uh, whereby my parents have been working uh, as a normal casual laborers uh, in people's tea, kono, wanafanya kazi ya kuchuna majani. Mm -hmm. So, uh, once I started uh, this uh, political 
uh, stories, uh, I managed to talk with them. And uh, then once I told my, I, actually my mother, once I told him that, uh, uh, that uh, I'm going to buy for a seat, uh, you know, she, she was like, uh, where will I get that money? Yeah. So I, I, t I told her, I decided that uh, I should not, first I should not uh, uh, ask him to give. Uh, <laughs> no. She decided that my mother, you know, I've just been telling her that I will vie for a seat. Now she thought that maybe I won't be able to maneuver because there is no money. Remember, she has not been able even to pay my school fees. Okay. No, she thought ah, this guy shouldn't. First, uh, I should uh, go to the, the to school, and then after school, I come back to the political political stories. So then I decided to enter into the community, and then uh, I I thank my my. People there in the community because By the way, they decided to. To know pictures of Koki Kamchengo, right? Yeah. How, how were you able to campaign? Will you call campaign, Aj? Uh, my campaign, I started there. Just uh, once, Nikitoka kwa Mjengo, Nilikuwa tuna ingia kwa Mjengo. Kama ni menda Mjengo leo, kesho lazima niende campaign. So. Unaingia mtaa, unaingia. Yeah, Nilikuwa naingia mtaa tu, nafanya campaign. Najua ni kwa, ni, si, kukwetu wakuna, ni, si, si ya tikuna zile, si kwa na campaign kwa towns. Okay. Zile campaign za kuenda kwa, ya, yeah, kwa village. Na mjengo, how much would you get in a day kwa mjengo? Uh, just 500 shillings. 500 shillings? Yeah. A day? A day. And no, you know, not every day. Correct. It's coming just once per month, per week. How many votes did you get? Uh, 2,901. And, 2, and the, your closest uh, next, next one? The next, uh, my, my, yeah. that is my, who was number following two, me? Yeah. Number two, uh, I think 20, if not 22, 21 something. Wow. Yeah. George, how were you able to campaign? I mean, <laughs> on the back of a donkey, <laughs> where did you get that idea from? Uh, Jeff, um, first of all, I started uh, visiting uh, households uh, and I did that for, uh, for a couple of uh, months. Then like house to house to house? House to house, uh. yeah. Unawambia, my name is George uh, Wanganga Nene. Yeah. And you just tell them, I'm, I'm running for MCA. Yeah. Unawambia tu hivyo? Unawambia hivyo, na drop manifesto. This is what I will do for you. Pray some, kindly requesting for your vote. Um, after visiting households, uh, sometimes because of the, the vastness of the word, <coughs> I could use a, a bicycle because there is a meeting somewhere and I need to rush. Then after walk, walking door to door using a bicycle, um, there is a friend who gave me public address, speakers and a generator. For free, Yama? For free. And then after I am given, then I, I have this question, where will I, how will I use these machines? Because I cannot carry them on, on my back. I don't have a, a vehicle. Then an, an idea runs in my mind. There is a neighbor, my neighbor there who has a, a donkey, a donkey with a cart. I went to that neighbor. That guy is called Paul Karaoke. I know he's watching. And then he told me, yeah, I will give you my donkey. So that is where I mounted my two speakers. On the donkey? On the donkey. And you would now go down the streets or down the road? Yeah. No, no, English, I want to. Yeah, so what I was doing, um, I had a song by Hezedon. That is the song I was playing. <coughs> so when uh, the people hear that song, they want to know who is this, who is passing by. So when I am passing, people come out and then I tell them, this is George Nene, uh, I'm vying for the MCA seat on a Safina party. I am kindly requesting for, uh, for your votes. And therefore campaigning became a bit easier because I could be able to reach uh, quite a larger number of people as compared to to door to door using a bicycle. Yeah. yeah. How, how many votes did you get? I got 4,310 votes. And the closest rival? 4,285. So you look close, Anna? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Congratulations. Thank you very much. By the way, someone has sent me a message saying, um, uh, congratulations, Honorable George uh, Nene, yeah, uh, Ogayo Jenswe. Yeah. By the way, uh. it is for the first time for me to wear a suit, Jeff. And Are you serious? Uh, yeah, I'm serious. First time ever? Yeah, first time. And I feel excited. <laughs> and uh, this suit I was given by Derek mm. Ogayo, in fact, the same person who is uh, uh, tweeting. Yes. And um, when he realized that I will be coming to JK Live, he told me, come for a suit. Uh, his uh, shop is located at um, Brighton Building. Um, near Family Bank, Kenyatta Avenue, here at Nairobi. And uh, I'm very happy. I want to thank him for giving me a suit, give me a suit, a shirt, a tie, and even a, a pair of shoes. Wow. And Jeff, I am looking forward to seeing you go there and have a suit. <laughs> yeah, Kukuja JK Rive. You want me to go there? <laughs> yeah, and have one. You look good in a suit, by the way. Thank you. You look very good in a suit. Thank you. Congratulations. Asante. <laughs> <laughs> Mutai, yes. Saso Kingi Abonge, what are you going to do for uh, the people of Kurisoi North? Okay, for my case, eh, uh, what I will do to my people of Kurisoi North is that uh, I will work on the weaknesses of my predecessor. You know, there are those things that people of Kurisoi North decided to actually change, and the perfect change was Mutai. So the weaknesses that are there, that were there, is that. The, the, the road networks in uh, Kuresoi North constituency, the issue of uh, education, and also services. I have to actually take all the services all, almost to their doors. That is, I mean, what I mean is that I will actually make an office, or I will open an office in each, each, each and every ward, so that all the services that are being run in my office will actually reach my people by not actually traveling far. Right now, as we speak, uh, there is only one uh, office in, the, in my constituency, and uh, all the services, let's say, talk of uh, issue of when we are actually doing bursaries, uh, when we are doing public participation on the issues of projects. Uh, there are those people who might not be able to travel to where uh, public participation is being uh, undertaken. So I will say that my, uh, under my leadership, I will luckily involve all the stakeholders of Korea Soy North so that we can be able to speak, uh, steer uh, the development agenda I have. Uh, with my people. Okay, yeah. well done, well done. Timothy, will you, will you talk uh, South again, but little journey, sir? Yeah. Sangapi? Uh, I, came, um, I started uh, at uh, 434 uh, from Meru. From Meru. Meru. Yeah. You can get Nairobi Sangapi? You can get Nairobi. Actually, I'm going to Sahi. Right away, yeah. Sahi? Yeah, right away. That's so much determination. What do you tell the people of... Uh, here going right now. What do you tell them? Uh, my people, I'm ready to work for them because my, my ambition is not to let them down, especially because you know they have really worked to ensure that my dream has come to, into actions. So I won't let them down. I want to work uh, following the footsteps of my mentor, that is Honorable John Paul Murigi, and uh, even our Ibon governor. Uh, that is Madam Kavira Mongaza. She did a good job. Yeah. She did a wonderful job. So I, I also want to follow their footsteps to ensure that I, I will really and the fullest I uh, deliver to my people so that come 2027, I want to be having a, the strain that I have been passing through uh, the earlier campaign. That is the one that has passed. Could be so. Yeah. Toto, yes. what is your agenda when you get into a... Okay, um, first, what's your agenda? first of all, before I tell you about my agenda, I want to thank the people of Bomet for believing in me, for praying for me, and finally voting me in as their women rep. They really supported me, despite my age and status. Thank you. May God bless you. So when I go to that parliament, first of all, I want to empower women through groups. I also want to empower youths through the same case that these groups, because I realize you cannot assist individually. Uh, another thing, I want to work with people living with disabilities. I also want to promote the education sector, and I want to nurture talents. Thank you. Wonderful, uh. wonderful. All three of you are so young. You're 21, Timothy. Yeah, 21. 21. Yeah. 
<laughs> when I was 21, I couldn't even think of anything political. No, <laughs> uh, Yeah. Of course, because my, my dream is not to remain just in MCA seat. Yeah. I want even to rise to, to, to higher levels. So I will proceed with my tertiary uh, level. And then after that, still, I remember for now, uh, I'm not expecting to go back to, to be employed even by the government <laughs> because they, they think that uh, maybe uh, uh, Moshimua is a, kuna, there is that perception yeah. about the, the members of the assembly and the parliament. Right. So my ambition is just to, uh, to proceed with my education level. And after I get my degrees, still I continue with the political career the whole yeah. of my life. Yeah. 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 I'm, I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> George, what is your mission? Uh, Jeff, uh, first I come from a, a very hot area, Remintaita Ward. And uh, one of my mission is to make sure that the people of Remintaita can have access to clean and sufficient water, uh, both for, for drinking and uh, for other domestic use. Um, I think in the Mentaita Ward, Jeff, we have enough water sources. What we need is good uh, management so that this water can be piped to every homestead so that our people from Elementaita can also shift from their farming method. That is, uh, they, they plant maize and beans for, for food. But I would, uh, in the five years that I will be at the MCA, I think we will have shifted now to cash crop farming so that they can at least uh, plant maize and beans for food, but also uh, plant cash crops uh, for selling so that that can also improve the economic standards of the people of Elementaita. How come no one has done this before, George? Why does it, you know, every, every time politicians promise things yeah. and they never deliver? Yeah. What makes you think you will deliver? I think uh, this is possible, Jeff, because uh, water is a devolved function. And there is a... Uh, that uh, uh, f th there are funds that are given in each uh, financial year to make sure that people have water. So I be able to use that money prudently, plan for it well, and involve the people. That is public participation, so that we can ensure that we have a good plan to ensure that there is a good water network in the entire world. Kurisoi North. Like I said, politicians promise everything. They promise you the world, and they never deliver. Yes. Are you going to deliver, Mutai? Yeah, yes, Jeff. Are you going to deliver? It is good that you have said politicians, but Mutai is a leader. <laughs> so in that connection, uh, Jeff, is that uh, I have actually been in a, a le an elective position at the same time. So what made me to actually climb to the position of MP is what I did when I was an MCA. Mm -hmm. In fact, other wards were actually yearning to see the development in their wards also. And that, was the, that is the only reason that made uh, me to actually succeed in the position or, or in uh, my aspiration to be the MP. So uh, people from Kuresoi, I appreciate you because they actually interested me to actually take the mantle of the leadership of the constituency. Mm -hmm. And they are ready and they know, they are optimistic that I will do. And I'm ready. You're ready to serve? Yes. Timothy. Uh, my youths, uh, my fellow youths, remember they have uh, they decided to empower me so that I can still uh, return the art. Because you, you understand, they are expecting me to uplift their social status. And uh, uh, the reason as to why you, you, you found me uh, congratulating the, uh, our honorable MP, that is our member of parliament and the governor, they have been, good, uh, they have been really doing good in our society. And uh, my plans is to just to link with them so that they can assist me to empower my fellow youth, uh, especially the Bonda Bonda people, because they really 
uh, meant a lot in my in, in this politics regarding my the you know um, before before I, I uh, the first time when I started this journey I was just traveling using my uh, by foot I was in table even to access a, even a motorbike even a, the the bicycle nothing but uh, later on once they, 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 they saw that there is a dream in, in me and there is something inside me, the Bonda Bonda people and the people who are picking the uh, tea with my mother, they really decided to support me. And if they gave me full support because in my political rallies, they have just been accompanying me yeah, yeah, by foot. There is no cause to maybe to, to assist them to access those areas where I was campaigning, they were just footing. So my, my plan is just to ensure that I've linked with those people so that, you know, you, you, you've asked my, my colleague here that how, how, how he's going to, uh, to assist the, his, his people because political, uh, 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 political leaders, uh, they, 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 uh, most of the time, they really don't fulfill their promises. promises. Yeah. So, uh, but where you know, Teresa? I'm ready and where I know Teresa? by the grace of the Lord, if I've been able to maneuver and manage to, to become the IMCA, God will still give me that favor to, to okay, you work for them. You mentioned border borders. Uh, Toto, uh, on social media today, you thanked someone who kept carrying you on his border border. None of you. He is called Kidion Cheruyot. He is my neighbor. When, uh, when I declared about my aspiration, he knew I was an asla. I had nothing to use. He was also coming from a humble background. My parents too could not raise funds for my campaigns. So he came to my home. He talked to me. He asked me whether I was serious about the aspiration. When I talked with, with Kidion, he decided to assist me with this border border. He used to be failing himself used to be coming for me in the morning, take me to the field, and, and get me back to home in the evening. Free? Free. My goodness. Free. And what did, when, when you won, what did Gideon say? How did he feel? He felt so happy because uh, it took me for three months, yes, before I met with someone also from Pomet Central who assisted me with a pro box. Mm -hmm. A well wish also. For free? For free. So Gideon was happy because at least he had a good start for my political journey. Yeah. Even after winning general election, he, he came home. I hope you saw the photo. I saw the photo. <laughs> he was so happy. <laughs> Fantastic. And I'm happy too. And you're happy too. Yes. I want to take a break, uh, come back and talk a little more because this is so inspiring. There's so many messages that I'm getting from people. Jackson Olenjapit says, there is a God in heaven. Mungu Yuko. So inspiring watching those humble young leaders. By the way, the three of you, you, you're used to it. You used to be called Mweshimiwa, right? When you were MCA, right? How does it feel being called Mweshimiwa? Uh, Toto, look, look quick. It feels so good. Okay. Oh, next. It is still, it feels so good and, uh, <laughs> you know. <laughs> George? It's always some. But, but sometimes you are called Muheshimiwa. Ah, you wonder, I'm a Muheshimiwa. Uh, but then you hear, I I've been talking to me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> wow. What a story, folks. What a story. This is inspiration at its finest. And this is Kenya at its finest, folks. It's inspiring stories don't get any better than this. Keep tweeting. And we'll get to the magic wall and read your tweets in a little short while. In the meantime, at Koinanga Jeff, at Citizen TV Kenya, the hashtag, JK Live. Are you as inspired as I am tonight? Somebody say, oh my. JKL takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs>